What will happen if I use a metal ferrule on a plastic supply tube? You don't want to find out. Stay tuned. Hey, welcome folks. It's Bob here from bobsplumbingvideos.com. This video is going to be about when and when not to use um, uh, that metal ring or metal ferrule that comes with the uh, copper supply tubes. Uh, there are cases we, when, when you're going to have PEX tubing or PEX supplies and you do not want to use a metal ring on them. But a little bit of history. When I started, uh, prior to um, these copper supply tubes, this one's for a toilet. And as you can see here, we have the, the nut and then you have the little metal, you know, I call it a ferrule, F-E-R-R-U-L-E. -E. That's what I've always called it. Uh, you'll hear it referred to as a couple of different things. I've heard a couple of British chaps call it a nut, but I call it a ferrule. It's a little metal ferrule that basically it's a compression ferrule. And when you put it into a fitting, this is a compression fitting, and you sl slide the nut down and proceed to tighten that with a uh, with an adjustable wrench um, it actually squeezes the ferrule it compresses it and it will you know latch on to the copper tubing and push up against the adapter and thereby creating a watertight seal now prior to these metal supply tubes this is when I started. Uh, basically, faucets were, were and toilets were all hooked up with, with solid pipes. So we would put our Teflon on here. We would wrap Teflon around our threads in the clockwise direction. Then we would use a half inch. This is a half inch nipple by quarter inch reducing coupling. And they made quarter inch little tail pieces. They came in different sizes, like two inch and four inch tail pieces. And on one end of the tailpiece, literally, it was it was it kind of looked like this, but it was brass now. Kind of had a tapered little cone on it. And on the other end of the tailpiece, it was threaded. So that would get threaded into the female part of the reducing coupling. And you know, we would place our nut on there to connect the faucet, and that's how we did it. We 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 hooked everything up with solid pipe. There was no such thing as uh, you know, stainless steel supply tubes. Well, so what had happened was, you know, the the, the flexible, solid chrome plated um, supply tube came in, and so we started using these, and and we used these in combination with the adapter. So we would screw the adapter onto the pipe, and this is a female adapter. So this is a half inch IPS by uh, three eight OD adapter, and they make these adapters with male threads. They make them angle which was an angle adapter with a female thread. So depending upon where the pipe was coming from, you could, you could, you know, use the appropriate adapter. And again, you had your metal ferrule and you would simply stick it in there and you would bear down on it and that would make your watertight seal. And that's the way it worked. And so eventually all the solid pipe hooking up of faucets and toilets went out the window and that kind of made life easy for the plumbers which was fine and as most of you know today in today's world everything is you know you go to the home centers you go to the plumbing supply and it's all stainless steel and as a matter of fact you don't even use the the, the nut and ferrule anymore these stainless steel um connectors have a there's a rubber washer and there's a black rubber washer in there that it sits up against the appropriate adapter this happens to be for a toilet, but again, they make them for basins. Um, and depending upon the manufacturer and the quality and the type you're looking for, this is a plastic nut. Some of them come with metal nuts. It all depends on the quality you're looking for. So usually if you had this type of connection in there, you simply would, you know, you'd remove this and you no longer need the ferrule or the nut. You would just take the stainless steel supply because it's got that little rubber gasket in there and you put that on here like this and then you would just proceed to to you know tighten that up with your adjustable wrench and and now you got you know your watertight seal and you know you can bend these and you can put these in all shapes and directions and they come in in different sizes uh, you know this is i believe a 12 they come 16 they come 20 they come all different sizes and that's great. 
Then, uh, I don't know who the genius was that decided to put these on the market, but they also make them, and I'm sure you've seen these. These are braided nylon water supply tubes. Now, this one I'm showing you here is for toilet. Uh, my take on these is this. If you have these in your house, do yourself a favor and get rid of them. I have seen multiple nylon water supply tubes, whether they be for a toilet or a basin, I've seen them actually blow out of the crimp here. And uh, I highly recommend you get rid of these. Minimally, I would tell you to use the stainless steel versions. Okay. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm a little old fashioned, uh, a little old school, they would say. And, in, you know, in my world, I would, I would still use the solid copper supplies. Because these are bendable, but they're solid copper. Uh, you know, even though these are stainless steel, you know, you, you got to bear in mind that in here is a rubber hose. So it's encased in the stainless, which, listen, this is the way it is in today's world. But um, in certain situations, especially in exposed situations, where I have some exposed plumbing that, that you know, they have a fancy faucet or a widespread faucet, and you're going to see a lot of the pipes under the sink, I still to this day use... Uh, the chrome plated uh, solid um, supply tubes. But anyway, getting back to this nylon thing, do yourself a favor and get rid of it. And if you want to learn more about how the things you shouldn't be doing or the things you should be looking at in your own home, at the end of this video, you, there's a link to uh, a new video series I just put out called the No Brainer Home Plumbing Inspection Checklist. And uh, I do a little bit about the plastic supply tube in there, but I do a whole lot about some other things you should be looking at to prevent uh a plumbing emergency in your home. But anyway, getting back to the subject at hand here, they also came out, or, or you know, over the years I started to see the PEX. So this is like a PEX, it's a PEX basin supply. And again, they make these in toilet supplies. So this is PEX tubing, and when you buy these things, they come, or they should come, with a plastic, you usually you'll see it, it's on there, it's already on there. They'll have a tag on here, and on there is a plastic ferrule. And that's what you're supposed to use when you use a PEC supply tube. You use a plastic ferrule. So you would put your nut on here, followed by a plastic ferrule, and then into your adapter, if that's what you have, or into your valve. And you would proceed to push that nut up. And this one's gonna give me a little bit of a hard time here. I don't know why. There we go. And you proceed to get your adjustable wrench and you just proceed to uh, tighten that up and you're in business. And that will squeeze the plastic ferrule up against the packs but it won't cut the PEX. And what I see over and over again, I go into jobs and I see this PEX tubing, they'll be going into valves like this. And I'll get under there to change a force or whatever the case may be. And, and I'll take this apart. And more often what I find is, wow, this doesn't want to come off. What I find is some genius used a metal ferrule and upon taking everything off and backing it off this ferrule actually had cut into the into the pex tubing and guys you're just not supposed to do that i mean when you tighten up these nuts uh they actually squeeze the um they squeeze that brass ferrule up against the tube and if it's a copper tube and you got a metal ferrule that's not an issue but when you have Hold on a second, guys. We have to get this off here because it's rather tough. And I don't know why, but this is live video, so just bear with me. So you got your nut. Let's try a different nut if we can. There we go. That's a little better. We got our nut. And then, you know, either they lost the, the metal ferrule, they didn't have one in the truck, and they didn't want to go to the store, so ah, I'll just use the metal ferrule. 
don't do it, guys, because as you put this on here and you start to bear down on this with your adjustable wrench, you are going to cut into that plastic tube. And I know a lot of you out there are going to say, oh, but it's baloney, Bob. I use the metal ferrules all the time and I never had a problem. You know what? That's great. Good for you. I'm happy for you. You shouldn't do it. Uh, that's the reason they give you these plastic ferrules. They give you these plastic ferrules specifically. Now, I also want to mention that a lot of faucets today are coming equipped with this PEX tubing. And the PEX tubing is already an integral part of the faucet. It's actually coming down out of the faucet body. And I, I don't want to mention any names, but we will. Delta a Faucet Company, I've seen a lot of their uh, basin faucets and kitchen faucets come equipped with the PEX tubing, both on the hot and cold water side. And it's about 30 inches long. They give you about 30 inches of product. And Depending upon how far away the water supplies are, you can either, you know, you can loop them, you can loop, loop de loop them, if you will, or if you can cut them. Now they come on one end with a with a with a factory intact rubber gasket. As a matter of fact, they already have the nuts on them out of the box. The nuts are already on the supply tubes when you buy the faucet, and they have a factory end on them that's made to go either into your adapter or it's made to go into your valve, e either way, either or. But let's say if you have like too much access and you really don't wanna use excess, excuse me, if you have too much excess tubing and you don't wanna use all of it, you can cut it, but also supplied in the faucet uh, carton is a bag with two plastic ferrules and they specifically tell you if you're going to cut the ends the original factory ends off the tubing you must use a plastic ferrule and there's all sorts of caution labels on there because they're telling you that if you use a metal ferrule on the pex tubing you're likely going to cut into it and uh, you most likely will cut into it it may ne not necessarily leak right away but you know, folks, why take the chance? So that's what this video is about. Uh, just a, a short one. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's it. If you have uh, PEX type uh, water supply tubes, whether it be for a toilet or whether it be for a sink, you want to go out and get yourself a bag of plastic ferrules. I mean, you're only going to need one per tube, but you don't want to be using these metal ferrules because when these compress up against plastic tubing, they will actually cut into the tubing. Uh, perfectly fine to use on metal. On metal. Let me bring up this other one here. Perfectly fine to use on metal, not a problem. But when you're using PEX tubing, please folks, use a nylon ferrule. You will make your life easier. Folks, I hope you enjoyed this video. I please encourage you to subscribe to my channel. I'm looking for more and more subscribers. Leave your comments, both good and bad. Uh, I love to hear from you guys and uh, look forward to doing my next video. And if you have any questions or concerns about this video, you can always reach me, info at bobsplumbingvideos.com. I hope I made myself clear. And again, I look forward to seeing you all in my next video. Happy plumbing. Hey folks, it's Bob here. If you find these videos helpful, please, please hit that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to claim your free video series, The 7 Things You Shouldn't Have to Pay a Plumber to Do. And to learn more about how to prevent a plumbing disaster in your home, check out my new video course, The No-Brainer Home Plumbing Inspection Checklist. Happy plumbing!